Hey guys, so before I get started, let me point out the obvious. This is a perfect week for sucking up. And for brownie points, it's Valentine's Day week. So this is a time to make it work. I mean, I don't care what type of guy or what type of girl you guys have, everybody likes attention. And this is the perfect time to give somebody attention. So don't waste it, make it work. Now that said, this is part two of a two-part series that I started last week regarding tips for guys. Guys, listen up, you may learn something. If I could help one person with this, it would make me infinitely happy. So, happy Valentine's Day. Hi, I'm Maite, and I'm the author of the book, Sortera. Sometimes when things don't work out, they actually end up working out for the best. I welcome you and your friends to my world of Sortera. This is our time. <laughs> okay, La Farandulera. This kind of girl is dangerous, okay? They're usually good looking, but in a trashy kind of way. They'll wear these little outfits meant to turn heads, sometimes expensive, but certainly showing a lot more than they should. You know, she'll be loud, extravagant, and travel in a group of other women just like her, like a little pack. You know, the reason I say she's dangerous is because they're usually looking for some sort of sugar daddy, and they have gold digger tendencies or at least to find a poor guy that's gonna fund their night. I mean, they'll pick this guy out, they'll get a bottle out of him, they'll have him pay for a table up front of the club, and then, you know, they'll like put him aside and do their thing, you know? The prey for this kind of women is usually like an older guy that's looking for, for like a trophy girl or girls next to him. You know, it's really kind of sad, it's bad, and there's a lot of that going on in Miami right now. This girl has probably been through hell. You know, one or more bad relationships, but she's still hopeful. If she's with you, she's probably regaled you with stories of things that have happened to her in the past. She's probably a little bit bitter towards men and may voice it, but Pobrecita, you know, and then at the end of the day, she's like a magnet for this kind of guy and is attracted to them. So don't be that guy. You know, she's been through hell already. It's gonna take a little bit more work because of things that have happened to her, but I'm sure it's gonna be well worth it at the end. And don't freak out if she ever compares you to somebody from her past because she just doesn't know any better. Remember, patience is a virtue and I'm sure it's gonna be well worth it at the end. We Latinas tend to overreact a little bit on occasion. Sometimes a little more than we want, definitely a lot more than we should. But one thing is to overreact, and another thing is to like be a drama queen and like overdo it. Some women just like to act up, you know, and anything will trigger it. A wrong look, something wrong said, cold food at a restaurant, who knows? These women want to be heard and they're gonna be heard no matter what. With their man, it could be the guy may have looked at a girl, he's paying too much attention to his phone. It's really annoying and it's ugly and you could hear it all over and people are looking at you, it's not a good thing. So I say use reverse psychology. You know, like you would with a child having a tantrum. You just sit back, let it happen, and look at her. She's probably not gonna know what to do with herself. And hopefully she'll get the message. But anyway, good luck. I find this kind of girl annoying. You know, she can't do anything by herself and she needs help for anything and everything that she does. 
I mean, it's like, oh, I could hear her whiny little voice in my head. I'm sorry, guys, I'm not a fan, but whatever. You know, to break through this kind of girl, you're probably gonna have to service her at first, but once you get past that, she's probably more tolerant than other girls of other types. So, go figure. But if you're into this kind of thing, you'll be fine. Just know that there always will be a little tendency for that. And also financially, you know, watch out because she may be financially needy too, you know. So I'm sure that once you get past all this, there's a steady person in there, but first you gotta get past all the BS. So good luck with that. Hey guys, if you like this episode, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you all have an amazing week and I'll talk to you all really soon. Thank you always.